Welcome back to the range, everybody. I've got a video that's been a long time in the making. Check this out. So, I posted a picture on Facebook of this little thing, and somebody mentioned that that might make a good survival rifle. And I got to thinking, well, maybe it would. For those of you that don't know, this is a Keltec CM, uh, CMR30. So they make a pistol version of the PMR-30. It's a 22 Magnum rimfire. Has a collapsible stock, right? Um, I've got this one set up with a basic red dot, a UTG red dot with a magnifier. Of course, it has the backup sights. Um, totally ambidextrous. You've got a safety selector on each side. Uh, magazine release down here. And charging handle, of course, on both sides as well. Um, I've shot this thing a bunch already, and I've actually had, uh, haven't had any problems with misfires or jams. Um, I will tell you though, that this little thing is absolutely necessary. This is an American speed loaders, speed loader for it. Like all speed loaders, you know, it makes it faster, of course. But with this one, it's got this little slot right here and you just drop the cartridge down, push it. Now, we're all loaded up. Now, we're gonna be comparing it to something else that is about the same size. And that is this. This is an FNPS 90. Um, it's a five by seven. 5.7 by 28, um, very interesting design, totally ambidextrous, of course your charging handle on both sides, your safety selectors right here, comes out the, uh, ejects out the bottom. Um, this one was designed for the military for CQB, CQB issues um, when a 223 or the ARs um, are too much, they're over penetration and your 9 millimeters really aren't enough. So you can clear a house with this and it's not supposed to go through all of the walls. Um, still looks like a little wicked bullet, but uh, I know they also issue these to like uh, tank crews and pilots as well. So they both offer a lot of firepower and a very small and light platform. Um, survival issue, of course the ammo's light, uh, so you can carry a lot of it. Uh, magazines, you can carry a lot of them. Um, even in today's inflated prices with ammo, unless you're gonna buy in bulk, um, you know, a box of 22 mags can cost you 20 to 25 bucks, depending on a lot of variables. Um, your 5.7 ammo is still 45-ish to $50. Like I said, if you buy, um, and that's for us here in Missouri, I mean, I'm sure California and all the other places are way more expensive, but, um, so if you buy in bulk, get it shipped to you. If you live in a fairly free state like Missouri, hey, come to Missouri. Um, you can get stuff shipped straight to your door and uh, you can get a pretty good deal. I think that I bought a bunch of uh, 22 mag in bulk and it was like, I think it was $33 for 250 rounds. So um, I'm joined again on the range by Mike. He has, to the best of my knowledge, have you ever shot any of these? This is gonna be fun. I'm hoping. So, we're gonna do, uh, let's do the 22 mag first. This is bushy tail down, of course. So, got a red and green dot. I'm gonna put it on green. Extend that. And let's get shooting. Stretch it out. Uh, I don't like that groundhog though.
Now, before we turn it over to Mike, we're going to I only have one magazine, but I've got three for this one, so what I gotta blow through it all, plus you know, fifty dollars box versus twenty is a bit of a difference. that's fun so loaded weight this one's a little bit heavier but uh I don't know. let's see mike you're up man yeah. let's see if i can do a little better than you huh Safety's by your thumb right there. Yep. Not much to do. This is funny because I put four mags in the and I didn't have any issues. <laughs> you having fun? I am having fun. I missed that three times easy. Yeah, but there's some water bottles in front of you that are about to shoot back. Want one of those? That one. <coughs> this one ready? Yeah, you just gotta take it off safe. <laughs> that ain't bad at all. Gotta watch that piece grabbing your mustache, yo. Yeah, I know. I pulled a beard hair out of mine. I know. I pulled two. And they were nice. I think you did better than I did. They always got a different smell with your pipe, don't they? They do. All right. <coughs> Let's see what I can hit. You ready for this? I love the smell of gunpowder in the afternoon. It's funny, we both said it. Um, this one was still super accurate. Uh, I will say that the the PS90 takes a little bit of time to get used to when you shoot. Um, it's made to shoot both eyes open and I've had people shoot and it took them a while to, to get that concept. Once you get that concept down, it's, uh, it's pretty fun. Uh, it's pretty easy to, to hit with. Now, very small the whole thing is 26.1 inches long it's a bullpup design uh, 16 inch barrel um, but it's you know it's very compact very very lightweight you can carry a bunch of ammo with either of these um, really I don't know what the ballistics are on them uh, you know to, to compare them but uh, uh, you can take down you know 
not that it's legal, but I know, you know, there's stories about people killing deer with a 22 Magnum. I know you can kill a deer with that. You know, it, it's all shot placement. So, um, and if you had to fight out of something, I don't think anybody's gonna be like, no, don't shoot, it's a 22. You know, they're gonna return fire. So, uh, tell me what you think. This one was fun. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say. Wanna add anything? All right, as always, like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your mother. Um, thanks for watching.